What's going on? It is Patrick Wilson, and we have a special guest today. This wonderful, tasty, amazing Oreo donut that I'm about to eat throughout this video. Actually, let's start it off take a bite right now. Mmm. Mmm. That right there. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat the rest of this. Anyway, today's video, we're talking about how to have fun foods like donuts and lose fat. And it's possible. And I'm going to tell you how. First things first, though, I'm going to break down what we're going to talk about with this video because I think that's important to lay the groundwork and let you know what you're about to learn, what you can do so that you can have donuts or your favorite foods and uh, and lose fat and get uh, get in shape. As you can see from the little thumbnail, when you click on the video, that was me right before eating this, abs popping, losing fat, still having fun foods. So this is what we're going to talk about. First, we're going to talk about what exactly are fun foods. Next, we're going to talk about actual tips in how to have these fun foods and lose fat. What do you need to do? What are the main things to focus on? What's the deal with that? The next thing after that, the last two things, I guess I'm doing more than three sections. Yeah, we're going to talk about four different sections. The next one is going to be how do you actually plan for a donut like this? Like when you want to have some fun foods like this, like what are the exact steps? How do you calculate it? How do you track it out? How do you figure all that out? We're going to go through that. That's one of the sections. And the last section is going to be an example of a full day of eating, factoring in this donut with the plan of attack, literally like specific meals, the amount of calories and how you can make it work for yourself. So with that being said, before we get into those different sections, first I want to say that I'm rocking this hat, this Ohio hat. Your boy's from Ohio. One of my good friends and longtime clients, he just started a amazing, amazing brand called Gamut. And so one of their first lines is going to be, it's called, I forget the exact name, but it's like, it's from, or it's with love from Ohio, but there's a bunch of different states that it's from. So he had moved from uh, Ohio to New York City in his first couple of years. When you move somewhere new, especially a big city like that, it's super eye opening. It's a challenge. It's tough. So he's a great designer, amazing with that kind of stuff, amazing with photography, like super talented dude, but he started this brand. So this hat is super cool. I'm gonna be rocking everywhere. As you can see from Ohio with love, definitely would recommend checking them out. Gamut. I'm gonna link it down below so you can check that out and not even like a paid post or anything. Like literally, like I just think the gear is amazing. I got like a bunch more gear coming from it, but I had to rock the hat today. So I wanted to give him a shout out. The next thing, this amazing Oreo donut is from Birdie's in downtown LA. It's literally like less than a block from where I live. It's like the same distance walk for our uh, from me to Chipotle. So I like it's a it's a choice every day. I choose Chipotle most of the time because you know games and obviously I can't have a donut for lunch. But <laughs> it's super close. This donut looks super amazing. My roommate had got this like three months ago and I've always wanted to try it. But whenever I go in there, they don't have it. But today they had it. So with all that being said, we are going to get into the video. And you know the deal. The first section. What are fun foods? What is a fun food? Fun food. So basically, you oftentimes hear that you can't eat certain things. Like if you want to lose fat and get in shape and lose weight, you're not supposed to have unhealthy foods. Unhealthy stuff is bad for you. However, there are plenty of times where having those unhealthy foods makes life and your experiences and just every, it, it makes the journey so much better when you can, you know, have a few slices of pizza, have some wine, have a beer, have a donut, have foods you enjoy. And the cool thing is with this fitness stuff and losing fat, if you understand nutrition, which all the stuff we're going to get into in the video, if you understand it, then you know you can have these different kind of quote unquote unhealthy foods. However, I decided to change the name of them and say they're fun foods. Like it's stuff that adds fun to your life, adds enjoyment to your life. Like this donut is not something I'm going to have every day, but neither is like a crazy, crazy amount of fun. Like you can find joy in like simple stuff um, just in your day-to-day -day life, but you're not going to like go out and have a ton of fun all the time to the extreme. Like you can do one small fun thing per day, but you still got to like get to business and enjoy those simple day-to-day -day tasks. That's where it's like you want to still enjoy your day-to-day -day meals, like some of like the healthier stuff, which we're going to talk about, but the fun foods are still should be in there, worked in, in moderation. And similar to life, if you have way too much fun, then you're not gonna accomplish what you want. And it's gonna, you know, spiral into some potential negatives. So, fun foods, that's how I look at it. Not unhealthy foods, fun foods. The whipped cream is popping out, is just unreal. It was unreal. 
All right. Amazing. All right. So first section we're getting into now, specific tips and how to lose fat while having these fun foods. So I got seven different tips I'm going to go through. So here we go. Let's get it. Popped. All right. So number one, you want to track calories with a goal in mind. So Calories are the reason that you lose weight or gain weight. If you're having too many calories in a calorie surplus, that means you're going to start to gain weight. If you're in a calorie deficit, meaning you're taking in less calories than you are burning in a day, which when I say burning, that means your body and your body naturally burns calories without doing any activity. Then you add activity to it. That's the total amount you burn. You want to take in less than you want to eat less, eat less calories, taking less calories than you're burning. That's what being in a calorie deficit is. So if you're in a calorie deficit, you can still have fun foods and work in really any food and still lose fat or weight. So that's the biggest thing is that you want to have an idea of how many calories you should take in each day so that you know where you can fit in the fun foods in the mix. Two, in order to actually be full and have energy and be a living human being and alive and well and doing your thing, you need to be eating mostly quote unquote healthier foods, but these are gonna be more nutrient dense, more filling, lower calorie foods. So things like veggies, things like uh, lean protein sources like chicken or egg whites or beef yogurt or fish, fruits, uh, strawberries, apples, stuff like that. I have a full video called um, Top Foods to Eat for Fat Loss. So if you have mostly those kind of foods that I list out in that video, then if you're filling your calories with those foods, then it's gonna be easier and to fit in you know, a donut that's, you know, three, 400 calories into the mix or, you know, have a meal, a full meal that's, you know, six, 700 calories that is going to be more quote unquote unhealthy stuff. Uh, but it's just, it's fun foods. And if you have other meals that are more nutrient dense, lower calorie filling, you're not going to be super hungry throughout the day. Your energy is still going to be high. It's the best of both worlds. Three, so when you have a goal in mind with your calories, you're going to want to plan to have the fun foods within that calorie goal for the day. So if you know you're going to have a donut like I did today, I went into the, into the day knowing that I wanted to have this amazing donut. It's living up to the hype too. Mm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> If you want to have a donut like this, then you have to think about what your other meals are going to be throughout the day. So planning it out. So knowing that you're going to have a donut, this donut that's 400 calories or a meal that's five, 600 calories, having your set calorie goal you're aiming for, and then planning your other meals around that. So how much, uh, how many, you know, how many ounces of chicken am I going to have? Uh, am I going to have broccoli? Um, what can, just what can the other meals look like in the day? When you have a plan going into the day, it makes it a lot easier to execute as opposed to just being like, oh, I'm going to go have a donut today and then maybe stay on track and eat relatively healthy the rest of the day. Destined to fail, most likely. Like you're probably just going to be like, mm, yeah, screw it. I'm just going to go like get a burrito now or go get some pizza now. After already having something that's a little bit higher calorie, it's just not going to work for you to lose fat that way. So having a game plan with it, factoring in that you're going to have some kind of fun foods on those days or on that given day, and then planning the rest of your day around that. With that, number four, this kind of goes off of that is that you want to save your calories for the fun foods. So it's like if you normally have a meal that's, you know, chicken, rice, veggies, which is like a common staple meal, then cut back on the rice for that meal. That saves you 150, 200 calories. Just have the chicken and veggies, maybe double down on the veggies because that's super low calorie and more filling, maybe double down on the chicken because that's still pretty low calorie and more filling than just the rice is. And then you have more calories to work with for a donut or pizza or whatever it is. And I'm not saying carbs are bad or like, you know, you could cut out like peanut butter, like a serving of peanut butter. And I'm not saying that fats are bad or any food is necessarily bad, but it's about picking and choosing on that given day what you want more. So all meals should be based around veggies, protein sources, like regardless of the day, just like if you, if you want to lose fat and look your best, feel your best, then need to be basing meals around a protein source and a veggie. And then after that, you know, you can work in more filling foods on a day to day basis. But if you want to work in, you know, fun foods, those are some ways that you can save calories for the fun foods, cutting back on some of the carb sources, the fat sources that aren't necessarily as filling. Number five, don't waste your calories on fun foods that you don't like. And at that point, if you don't like them, they're not fun, homie. Mm hmm. They're not fun. Mm -mm. So 
if you're gonna have a food that's higher calorie and kind of deviates from what you know will help you lose fat or weight, either make sure that it's a part of the experience you're having. So it's, you know, trying a new food, you know, going on a date and trying something new, on a vacation, trying something new. Actually, you shouldn't track calories on vacation, enjoy your time. But you wanna make sure that, I had icing in my beard and you didn't tell me. It's messed up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Still love you. Uh, so you want to make sure that the food adds to the experience or adds to the enjoyment of life. I think sometimes people will, you know, have those days where they're like, have something that's unhealthy and then they just let that snowball and snowball. So because they're not unfulfilled, that's normally why they're not fulfilled with the fun food they have. So, you know, have something that you really enjoy, you really love, or make sure that it's a part of the experience. Don't just have some high calorie, crazy food just because you're saying screw it for the day. Like make sure there's some purpose behind it and it's gonna bring you pure enjoyment. Like this donut is for me. Ooh, this whipped cream thick, boy. Mmm, this thing thick. Crazy. Six, and this is probably the most important one. Actually six and seven are the most important. Losing fat is such a mental game. It, like that's the biggest thing with it. Like you have to change your mental state and how you look at food and how you approach different situations. I think a lot of people normally eat until they're completely full. They're used to eating a certain way. And you know, maybe earlier in life they didn't gain weight that way or you know, they did gain weight and that's just how they've operated. They stress eat, they eat when they you know, are sad or mad, any kind of feelings they eat to make themselves feel better. Um, and those are all things that you need to mentally work through. You also need to know that just because, you know, you have a day where you have something that is in your mind, what you've always thought of as unhealthy, that doesn't make the day just automatically bad by any means. You can still stay on track with your goals, even having a donut. Like I think for some people, if they would have this donut right now, they'd be like, oh, it was a terrible day because I had this donut. And I'm like, dog, no, I'm still going to hit my calorie goals for the day, completely stay on track. This was like the best of both worlds day. This was the perfect day. I had something that tastes absolutely amazing. And I'm going to still be on track calorie wise to hit my goals and I'm going to lose fat because of that. Bro, you can't ask for anything better than that. So it's important to change your mindset with it. It's like you have the opportunity to have fun foods and still lose fat. Like it's a game changer. Like your life is infinitely better when you realize that it's okay to have these kind of foods and you can still make progress while doing it. But so six is changing your mentality with it. That's the most important thing, changing your big picture mentality. Number seven is actually changing, you know, the day-to-day -day mindset and mentally preparing to stay on track in that moment and actually execute. So preparing to have these fun foods in moderation. So you're starting to change your overall big picture view of food and you know that there aren't good and bad foods. It's just that you need to have more nutrient dense food to have plenty of energy and be more full and operate your best. Excuse me, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> and you know, some of these fun foods, like if you had donut for every meal, you could have a donut for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and you could be on track calorie wise, but you would feel horrible. So it's kind of balancing out. But when you get in the moment and you're having, you know, these fun foods and you plan it out that you're only going to have, you know, one donut or two or three pieces of pizza, whatever the case is, that's when you need to beforehand, you're prepared on paper to do it. Now you need to mentally prepare like, yo, when I'm in this moment and I'm about to eat, you know, a donut or pizza, that's all I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to be content with it. And it's something you got to keep reminding yourself and talking to yourself about. And that's how you change your habits and mentality. That's how you actually can get to the point where you're having fun foods in moderation. So that's how it's done. So good. I've said that every time I took a bite, but it is so good. All right, on to the next section. I'm gonna angle, re-angle myself a little bit so we can get some different views here. And this donut is like oozing out the back. This is so good though. Mm-hmm. The whipped cream is like Oreo whipped cream too. It's got a little piece of Oreo in it. Mm, my goodness. Whew. All right, next section, planning for 
a donut. How exactly do you go about it? So these are the steps that I would do if I was going into the day and I knew I was gonna have fun foods. Like this is what I did today when I had this donut. All right, so go into the day. I'm like, yo, Pat, I'm, you're gonna have a donut today. This sounds really good. This Oreo donut's been talking to you. It's time to go get it. So we know what the food is. Next, we need to look up what the amount of calories is for this donut or figure it out. So if you're going to a more chain restaurant or you're gonna make a meal at home that's a little bit higher calorie, you buy something from the store, it's going to tell you the amount of calories it has. From there, you just need to make sure that the serving size of it you know, matches up with what you're actually gonna have and be aware of the serving size and the portion size. From there, that's an easy side of it. If you have to guesstimate, like I did with this donut where you know Birdies doesn't have the nutrition information, so it's a little bit of a guessing game. In those situations, you can still figure out the calories or get a pretty good guesstimate. So for me, with the donut, you want to look up with any fun food that you don't know the calories to. You want to look up the closest you know, chain that's similar to the place you're going to get it from. For me, a donut spot that's a chain is going to be Dunkin' Donuts. So I go to Dunkin' Donuts website, look up nutrition information, see if they have an Oreo kind of donut like this. If they do, boom, I'm going to use that as my guesstimate. It might be you know, a little bit more, a little bit less, but... It's a good guesstimate to have. It's significantly better than nothing. If they don't have that, then I'm gonna try to look up the different ingredients that this meal, this food has. So if it's a donut, just an original glazed donut, I'm gonna look that up. It's about 200 calories or so. I'm gonna look up what like heavier whipped cream is, just assuming it's like on the higher calorie and the stuff, and look up what you know one Oreo is, because that's about what this is right here on top. Maybe, maybe even a little bit less, but I'm gonna say one. And you wanna overestimate the calories of these foods just because if you're trying to lose weight or fat. You don't want to weigh under eat, but I'd rather have you be a little bit under calories than be over and be like wondering why you're not making progress if you um, are underestimating the amount of food you're having. That could be a reason why. So always overestimate a little bit. Always better to overestimate. So from there, you have the amount of calories that you know you're going to have from this fun meal. Then you have your set calorie goal like we talked about. It's important to have a set number of calories you're aiming to eat per day or at least a range you're aiming for per day. Like... For me, my current amount right now, I'm aiming for is 1,800 to 1,950 calories per day. So I know this donut is about, just based on everything I just said, about 400 to 450 calories. I subtract that from my numbers for the day. Now I have about 1,400 to 1,550 calories that I can work with for the other meals. So then from there, that's when I can kind of figure out, you know, what else I should eat or can't eat that day. So for at least one meal today, I'm going to have a super um, healthier meal where it's pretty much just veggies and a protein source. And I'm going to get into that in the next session. But that's kind of how you do it. You figure out what this food is calorie wise. You fit that in, you plug it into the day before you get started and then kind of operate and go from there. Now. Say that you know something popped up last second or you just have a general idea that you're gonna have some fun later in the night, that's when you just wanna save calories for later in the day. That's when you wanna have you know your meals earlier in the day at that point. If you don't know specifically what you're gonna eat or like what drinks will look like or whatever the case is, maybe you're just going to a party and it's like a, everyone just bring a separate dish, then you're going to want to just save as many calories for later in the day as possible. And so, you know, you want your meals earlier in the day to be pretty much just veggies in a protein source. So then it's filling meals. You're still getting nutrients there. You're still getting protein in, which is important to help you lose actual body fat. Um, and again, just be full and have plenty of energy so that you have plenty of calories for later in the day. If you're not perfectly on track calorie wise and maybe you go a little bit over, that's still better than just saying, ah, screw it for the day, eating whatever earlier in the day, eating whatever later in the day, I'm going way overboard. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Whew. All right, I need to eat at least like a third of this though, or like at least half of this remaining amount before I get in this last section and finish up the video. Real quick, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate you. Also, let me know if you want me to do more eating while I'm recording videos. I know some people will be liking those like ASMR type of videos. I don't know if that's you or not. I don't know. I don't know what you're into, but I have no problem eating while, while I'm talking. I won't be rude about it, though. I'm not about to be taking a bite right now and be like, blah, 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 blah. you know what I'm saying? All right, time to eat a couple bites. <laughs> it's so good, man. It is so, so tasty. Man, woman, whatever you identify with, this is very, very tasty. I love you. All right, last section. Sorry if that was might have been rude. I might have had some donut come out of my mouth. But last section. So this is what my full day of eating looked like with this donut. And just so you can kind of get an idea of what kind of foods and meals you should have while you're, you know, if you're going to have something like this on a given day. So again, this donut is about 450 calories. So first meal of the day today, 
Um, I just had a protein shake, so that's about 125 calories, 25 grams of protein. Hair's getting everywhere. And then I had a, like a smaller apple, it's about 80 calories, so decently filling, um, kind of just like a quick little snack. Had a lot of water, drink coffee, which coffee is like a nice, any caffeine's kind of like a nice appetite suppressant. Um, so drink a lot of water, coffee, protein shake. Didn't eat uh, like a first like big meal until about 12.30 or one. And with that meal, I had a slice of cucumber and then I had a salad, but it was like a giant salad with, I've been eating a lot of these like veggie crumble type of things. It's like a meat replacement type of thing. Not that I'm vegan, vegetarian, whatever, but I just like the way they taste a lot and they are really, really uh, lower calorie, higher protein. Um, so it was about 300 calories for that, the, the portion I had on top of the salad, but it was like, 50 it's like 55 grams of protein so like a good amount of protein with it um so super super tasty you could have chicken with that you could have chicken with veggies um you could have super lean like 99 percent lean ground turkey you could have any kind of fish um anything like that along with some veggies that's a meal that you could have for earlier in the day um knowing that you're gonna have this so then after i had my lunch after i had that then then i wanted to have my donut which is what i'm eating now um, just had my that meal a little bit ago. Now I'm finishing up this donut. So from there, then you still have a good amount of calories left over in the day. You can still have filling foods and still, you know, you could even work in something that's not like the most absolutely healthy, just like broccoli and chicken for like your next meal, like a later dinner meal type of thing. So for me, the rest of the day, I'm gonna definitely go get Chipotle because Chipotle is like just my go-to. I know the calories of it. So if you have a go-to meal, you know, that you can rock with that's filling, high protein, has some veggies, pretty low calorie, you could go with something like that. So I'm gonna go get Chipotle. The bowl I normally gets about 600 calories. So I'm gonna go rock with that. So still another good tasty meal that, you know, fits within my goals. I'm not like completely having this donut and I can't eat any other food. Granted, some people's calorie goals are a little bit different. You have maybe have to be a little bit more strict. And at the same token, some people might not want to eat this whole donut. Like some people might just want to eat half of it. And if you're content with half, then that's also fine. It cuts the calories in half. So something to keep in mind there. So from there, with all those meals, you know, Chipotle, the meal earlier, the apple, the donut, that kind of stuff, I'm at about, uh, I'll be at about 1450, 1450 calories at that point. So then, you know, I have 350 calories, 500 calories to work with from there. So at night, if I am hungry, which I still need to get in, you know, some protein, I'm either gonna do a, like a double scoop of protein, uh, like a double protein shake, just cause I'm just busy working and I don't know if I wanna make like another full, full meal. Um, so either gonna do that or I might just make another quick little salad because it is easy and tasty and it's just like dump, dumping some of these like veggie crumbles in a pan, put it on top of a salad, boom, bada bing, that is it. I can also, if I'm getting a little snacky, I might have another apple or two or another cucumber that's like pretty much no calories. So that is kind of how you do it. You have, you know, meals, you at least have one meal in the day if you're gonna have a fun food that is like more strict and a little bit more on your game. And then it makes it easier to, you know, still get another meal in the day that's not like uber crazy strict and having a, uh, you know, tasty, amazing food like this. So that's how it's done. That's the process of it. I hope you learned a lot. I hope now you are more prepared to have fun foods and your favorite stuff like donuts. Mm. And lose fat. I thoroughly enjoy you and appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Sorry if I have icing on my beard. Please like the video, subscribe, go to my Instagram at Gains by Pat, go to my TikTok at Gains by Pat, leave a comment telling me you watched the video or just send a message. I will be greatly, greatly happy and appreciate you and love you. And until next time, looking forward to talking soon. Much love. Peace.